How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure on being with you here today. Welcome to a Let's Look at Lake. That is the name of the game for today. We're going to be looking at Lake. What is Lake? I'll give you a brief description of what it is. I am going to read this off of the, of the store page here. So it's 1986. Meredith Wises takes a break from her career in the big city to deliver mail in her hometown. How will she experience two weeks in a beautiful Providence Oaks with its iconic lake, quirky community, and what will she do next? It's up to you. So this game is on a lot of people's radars, and it's uh, it's looking pretty good. It does. It is one of the few games that during this next event uh, on Steam, it is one of the few games that is actually that actually has a release date. So September first of this year is supposedly the release date. Could subject to change, of course. All right. So with that being out of the way, let's go ahead and look and see what we have going on here. Welcome to Providence Oaks. Thank you for playing the lake demo. The game is in its final stages of development. That's good news. <laughs> you may encounter some performance issues and or bugs here and there. Having said that, enjoy the game. Lake is scheduled to be released September 1st. Oh, baby. All right. So here we go. If you guys have not seen this game yet, I would highly, highly recommend maybe checking it out. Um, like the Steam, you know, page, of course, uh, reading through it and all that. Uh, maybe even adding it, adding it to your wish list. It's on my wish list. So let's get into it. Lake. Very good. I love story driven games. You guys know that if you guys watch my Walking Dead series, you guys know that. Tell me why. You know, uh, I get a little jazzed up. I get a little maybe too excited but here we are I, I did not check to see if subtitles were on and if there was a setting to turn them on hopefully they are on fingers crossed uh, but yeah here we go oh <laughs> that's cute oh um it's funny how a program is designed to help organize your life okay are we gonna be able to read this or is there gonna be voice acting is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Okay. But I'm glad we made the deadline. I wasn't prepared for this, I'll be honest with you. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Provi Providence Oaks. Hello? There it is. Oh, they're okay. Steve, uh, I nice. hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. <laughs> Afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, but do you really have to? Steve? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yes, yeah, we have to. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. So there is, I will say, there is a little bit of, like, graphical issues going on. Like, there is a few flashes. I don't know if they're picking up on camera, but they are picking up here in the cutscenes. Providence Oaks, so much Oregon. Thanks for out, Mr. Coleman. 1986. Mr. Coleman, please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. I'm all for it. Ready to roll. Yeah. He did not stop at the stop sign. Welcome to lake. <laughs> all right. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? 
Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Okay, here we go. This bag, walk to the mailbox and insert the mail. Seems easy enough. Let's get out of the mail truck. All right, here we are. Oh, look at this. Oh, dude, this looks charming, doesn't it? Walk to the mailbox. Absolutely. The 300 address of tires and oils here at the don't even know name of this company gas station row. Hello, deliver. Look around. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> Walk back to the mail truck. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, dude, this game is so cute. I love it. Oh, dude, it looks good. It feels good and looks good. Nothing. The cutscenes could do a little work, but that's all right. I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Massachusetts. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package <laughs> this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. There's going to be a lot of that interrupting. Uh, you're on a mail route. You're going to be stopping every about 500 feet. All right, get out of the mail truck here. All right, next level. Get a package. Open the hatch. This kind of like, if, this makes me think. 103 High Street, select the parcel. Uh, yes. This makes me think. How come there hasn't been a, a like, mailman simulator yet? Is this 103? This is what, 103? Walk to the front door. 1986 Amazon. How may I help you? All right. Ring the doorbell. Oh, that's very nice. Do they have ring? <laughs> uh... There we go. Drop it. That's the last of them. Well, that was one of them. I guess is that it? We have one one parcel, like one envelope and one package of, of boxes, and, and we're done for the day. This must be a very small town. <clears throat> You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Yes. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Absolutely. Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Um, I, I don't want to get chased by a dog, please. I feel like that's like the next step here. <sighs> There's no place like home. I see a dog house. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. The Mets are playing the Giants? What time do I start tomorrow? Oh, I love to hear that. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Wait, is this where I'm staying? The Mets are playing the Giants. I love references like that. All right, so walk to the front door. Is this my Airbnb? 102? There is a doghouse. I packed my entire life in this briefcase. Okay. This is going to be like a family house. Yeah, my parents' house. Okay, cool. Why is this residence? Monday afternoon. All right. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. What? Oh, humid? <laughs> the freezer stuffed. Hotter than hell? And there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, this I didn't guy. get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk. I think they're unaware that she's like making the entire life change right now. Like, I'll be gone for two weeks. That's my subtle two week notice. Not really silent two week notice, if anything. Tuesday morning. So, dude, the day after the game was released? That's incredible. Good morning, Meredith. Hello. Ready for your first day? Yes, I am. Oh, dude, you can do, you can select dialogue? I love it. I guess. Good morning. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. She's in a Ready good mood. Rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Oh, a map. Boss, me? Thanks. I'll probably need that. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Who, who says that in Oregon? Okay, so walk to the mail truck cabin door. This tr <laughs> the truck, I'll say it. It looks, it looks kind of tiny. It looks kind of tiny, but we're all right. 
unless she's you know a WNBA player that's a, you know something that could you know she might have done that in college all right so pull up the map and we can see what we're working with so we got a lot of packages to deliver today we had 207 Main Street 103 I'm not gonna go through all of it I mean I am gonna deliver everything but I'm not gonna you know go through all of it on the map here so here we are we are uh, officially a mailman male woman male person um I feel like we can like park right here momentarily like this this is bad <laughs> this is bad etiquette uh you don't want to do what i'm doing hopefully i don't like get yelled at by the popo but it's a very small town so maybe not so there is i'm assuming this is oh this is the general store oh main street so if there's anything on main street which is 207 main street i'm assuming that's what i need to get so let's go ahead and pick that up the music is is hitting now Let's go ahead and cross the street, make sure we're okay. All right, fantastic. 207 Main Street. I love this. This is so fun. <laughs> this is so fun. Where's the address though? I I know this is probably it, but I, I just want to know. Like, does every building have address? Hello? <gasps> the music! This is so awesome. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. And now I'm back. 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're <laughs> here, huh? I know what it's like. Are you involved with both those gentlemen? Uh, actually, this is only temporary. You do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I don't think that's what she's going for here. I wonder if it's going to rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Okay. This is such an awesome atmosphere. Dark room, do not enter. Photography, mini lab. You know, if you ever went to... I, you know, growing up in the 90s, I went to Sears and got my, my pictures taken. And some Blue's Clues freaking t-shirt and, and slacks. Not even joking. All right. One thing I don't like is seeing the mouse cursor. Now, is that? Hang on a sec. Let's see. We haven't even checked out the um, the settings here. Um, are there like any way to get rid of of the mouse? There might not. Might not be. That's all right. Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. It's gonna resume. All right. I'm not too worried about it because the gameplay in the game itself is really like making up for it. Let's go ahead and enter it. Hello. Sorry, I know we're like blocking traffic. It's it's terrible. All right, let's continue. So we do have a little bit of a building here coming up on our left. Let's go ahead and stop. Make sure. I mean, it's not. There's no stop sign, so we could have probably just blown through it. Um, but I kind of want to flip a UE here, or maybe come back to that. Maybe I'll just come back to that. Don't worry. I don't need to get everything right. All right, so I stopped, unlike what they did in the beginning of the game where they just blew through the stop sign. How you like them apples? All right, so she's actually enjoying this. That's wonderful. We'll go out here and get our, like, parcels done way, way, way off into the distance. When we come back to town, we'll take care of what we need to take care of. Okay, so we have a house coming up here on the right. Just a moment, you know, stop here for a sec. Lake 102. Oh, so it does tell me where I'm at. That's kind of good. Lake 102. Hopefully, don't get like ran over. I'm glad we got out on that side. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open this up. I, I guess this is where we get all of our envelopes too. I, I didn't check. Maybe just the packages. Yeah, it's just the packages. Um, no, we don't need that. Then close that. Do we already have the envelopes on us, or do we need to get them out of the truck? We might already have them on us because you can see the bag there. Let's just do that. Deliver the mail. This is so peaceful. Like I said, I don't know why no one has uh, has made a game yet where you are a a parcel, you know, service like or parcels, you know, parcel simulator. I think it could do good. We got a package. Yeah, this takes me back. Package here for two hundred. All right, let's go ahead and get two hundred out. This is Lake Road two hundred. Let's not uh, not mess that up. Oh, it's a nice little, I guess someone's getting a, a teddy bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Yeah. 
Nice. Dude, there's a bunch of cats out here. This is actually my friend's house. Yeah, there's, there's a cat on the house. Yeah, this is definitely my friend's house. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not going to name any names because they'd be like, what the hell, man? <laughs> oh, look, oh. Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Uh, well, I'm not a male man exactly. I'm Meredith Wise. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith, Meredith Wise. Uh, you know, I don't want to correct her, but, you know, we'll just say hi. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. How did she get a teddy bear? Meredith Maybe for her Weiss. grandchildren? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? It's Meredith. Wouldn't want... Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, we'll just say 22 years. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? Yeah. That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but shh. No one's going to live forever. You don't need to remind them, though. Don't you? Of course, you're the cat lady. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? I'm sorry, but I really don't. Um, I, I don't want to like, you know, we'll say how could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. All over the place. I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? You know, I don't... Like Genevieve here. And Thomas but I don't have a problem Oliver. problem with you having a lot of cats. You have a package for me then. I have a problem with the cat on the house. That that that's a little weird. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. Let's not, you know, jump to conclusions here. <laughs> here you go. Yes. Here you go. Even though it looks like a bear, it could be something else. Hi, looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get in. Be a giant gummy bear. Races, except actually drop by. Oh, that's sad. Uh, yeah, it's a teddy bear is a poor substitute. Well, I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Yeah, but that's not an excuse to not see your mother, right? Uh, I'm sure. Let's see what he she says. Well, he's probably just busy. Hmm, that's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you, Miss Jenkins. Oh, dear. Give Emily my best. I, I, Bye, I will. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. All right. Great. Oh, she has the cat with the freaking mailbox, dude. I. It's just that's funny because, like, when I was... A, oh, my God. That guy was coming in hot. When I was a kid... My mailbox was the mailbox from Blue's Clues. It was painted, it had the face, it was purple, it was pink and all that. Yeah, I, I might have been obsessed with Blue Blue's Clues from time to time. Actually, not time to time, one time as a child for a couple years. <laughs> all right, so we're here at the gas station once again, 300 Lake Road. Guess we can pull in right here. I don't think it'd be too, you know, I don't think it's an issue. Where's the package? Uh-oh, do we not have the package? 300 Lake Road? Uh-oh. Are we missing a package? No, it's right here. Okay, great. Grab that. What on earth did these folks order? Hello. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. This is a nice car you sure got here. Frank. Frank, no. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. I'm Meredith Wise. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. I'm Meredith Wise. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Is this the goose? Yes. Your white and bobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Oh, hello, and Lori. I'm the one who keeps the goose running. I appreciate it. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? Uh, well, not Thomas say that. is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. Dude, I love her outfit, there is though. There's no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. Don't rev it? If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? That's fair. I, I promise. All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. 
It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I want to listen to the radio. I promise. Thank you, Lori. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Miss W. I haven't been called Miss W since that one time I role played in that. Never mind. Uh, <clears throat> go back into the mail truck here. Should have just. Oh, dude, there's the radio. Toggle it. Oh, baby. Listen to that. Oh, this is nice. How can you not be charmed by this game by now? You got a, like a very well far out package out here. This is wonderful, dude. I think where was Bear Creek again? Bear Creek was this way, I'm assuming, down those like dirt road. Cross the bridge, maybe. This is wonderful. Oh, there's Bear Creek Bridge. Okay, there is going to be oh, a cabin. Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. A lumber yard. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, this is nice. Look at this. So there's this mail yet? Yeah, this is just a simple mail, mail drop off here. Oh, there's, there's a cutscene. A lumberjack. Hello, lumberjack. A rare sight for a scheduled or for a secluded lumberjack. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet Likewise, you, Robert. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Why? Why? Why right away? Oh, uh, what the? I mean, is it our business? I, I am curious. That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. <laughs> um, the sound can't be worse than the smell. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He, he's not going to spill the beans anyway, so that's all right. all right. Let's get back into the car here. Or the... What, what do they call it? I don't even know what she called it, the mechanic. Back it up. Is there a first person? Probably not. That's okay. You don't need a first person in this game, I don't think. Um, let's go ahead and stop, like, right here and kind of take a look at our map real quick. Let's see what we have. What is this? I think that's the Bear Creek Road, maybe? Oh, that's the woods? So you can fast travel in this game? That's really cool. Um, looks like this road goes way throughout here, back to the town. We could take that Bear Creek Trail back into town. We do have a package on the on the way on the other side. I'm glad to see that there's a service station there, uh, post office, general store, uh, a lot of good stuff that has big potential for the game. Like, oh, you need to go to the service station? We'll go to the service station, you know? Absolutely. Should we take the other route? Yeah, let's take the new route. Why not? This will put us back at the... Uh, at the, um, you know, in town. So we'll, we'll go this way. It might be a bumpy ride. Um, graphically, game-wise, it might, you know, stutter a little bit just because there's a lot of stuff loading in. Optimization might be in its works before full release. Absolutely. You know, we've already been warned about what's going to happen <laughs> or what is happening. Uh, but so far, the game is it's pretty good. It's going pretty good. That's all right. We'll just sit back and enjoy this nice ride through the woods here. Now, there is no motor sound. And that, you know, I don't know if that's because we have the radio on. So let's test it out. Can I turn off the radio? So if I turn off the radio, do we then have the motor sound? No. So I wonder if that's a little bit of an audio bug. We'll put the radio back on, though. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, check both ways. Make sure to stop at the stop sign. No, no turn signal on this bad boy. That's all right. And we'll head out all the way across the way. Oh, dude, look at that thing over there. See that out on the water? It's like a, I wonder if that's where we're delivering to. I hope that's where we're delivering to. It's like a house on the water. It's really cool. Hello. 
Can I honk? Nope. Yeah, we'll deliver this last package and then we'll come back into town and deliver the 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 little uh, envelope that we need to deliver. I'll be honest with you, my driving, not the cleanest through Main Street here. <laughs> They're like, well, who is Meredith? She's like this new, new, new boot that is just like driving over the yellow lines. Is, is she drinking on the job? No, I'm just, uh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> it's kind of like slow down a little bit. Let the game and the textures kind of catch up as well. Kind of give it a nice smooth going forward here. Moe's Diner. Oh, how cool. I'll be honest with you, this, like, this doesn't make sense at all. I don't think I've ever seen this in a road. You see how the lanes are? Maybe a little cut back on the lane there. Doesn't make much sense, but that's all right. We'll pull into Moe's Diner. Hello, Mo. We'll make this proper. I want to park this properly here. Like, what if we, like, did this? And then, there we are. Get out. 500 Lake Road. Probably our last, like, yeah, it is going to be our last package in the back here. Don't need to worry about that. I'll take that, please. Thank you. All righty. Moe's Diner. Is Mo here? Oh, dude, this is so cute. Look at this. 19, or not 19, but like a nice Meredith old school. Wise? As I live and breathe. Come diner. here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my, a few lines here and there, and the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? It is. You just said gray hair. I do take a little bit of offense with that. Well, hello to you, Marie. Ma Maureen? Maureen? Wow, Maureen, long time no see. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. Go yeah. to the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. But, Maureen, I do have to work. Okay. One quick drink. No, no, no. We have to... First day on the job. Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Seems like it. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Um, it's like I'm 17 again. Coffee sounds good, thanks. Uh, yeah, we'll do coffee that. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. Two coffees? And one piece of blueberry pie. Oh, blueberry. I, I just want a pie. I know I said earlier I've never had blueberry pie, but a pie just sounds amazing right now. Actually, I try to stay healthy these days. No, no, no. You know me too well. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. <laughs> Is that Ashley, Kenny? Could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> that didn't sound good. No offense, Marine, but I'm gonna back away slowly. Maybe you should go check that out. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh. Oh. That poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay. Great. That was Moe's Diner. All right, so let's go and deliver our last uh, parcel. And that's going to be in town. Let's go do that. Hop into the truck, baby. <laughs> Now, they do, like, drive on the right side of the road, right? I don't know. Maybe not in this kind of truck, but uh, usually the mailman drive on the right side of the road. Or not right side of the road, but, like, they drive on the right of the vehicle. Does that make sense? So they can, you know, pop out, uh, deliver quickly and all that. Now, does that mean mailmen in the, like, in Europe, since, you know, people drive on the right side of the vehicle, I guess you could say right side of the road, right? Does that mean their mailmen drive on drive on the left side? Does that make sense? Like, 
their their seating position is on the left side of the vehicle? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's go ahead and pull in here. Yeah, so there is a little bit of audio bug when it comes to a, a few things, a few things for sure. Definitely on this truck, there's a little bit of audio bug. It's all right. I'm sure it'll get ironed out when it full releases. I'm going to stop right here at this stop sign since no one's going to be like pulling up behind me. I hope. There we are. And we'll cross the street here. There we are. Again, this game looks so good. I would highly recommend if you want to try out this game, I would try out this game. Go, go, go find the demo. Go get the demo. Download the demo. Have fun with it. All right, so there we go. Return to the boss office, of course. We are now done with our shift, I'm pretty sure. And I think, yeah, the post office is here on Main Street, right? Yeah, Main Street. I love how you can hear the radio fade in and fade out as you get closer and farther away from the truck as well. All right, so how do we pull into the post office here? Probably just pull on in. Oh, oh. Let's park it. There we are. End the workday. Okay. All right. Wise residence, Tuesday evening. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. I'm all right. The job is okay. No, we're doing great. Hi, Mom. I'm, I'm loving the job. Doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is Dad? I can imagine that. How is Are they? Dad? They're on Dad vacation, I believe, right? Freedom. Oh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Sounds like they're enjoying their time. I like that. So we can stay home and watch TV. Um, stay home and read a book. I'm honestly going to say stay home and watch TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Is this WandaVision? All right. <laughs> sure. I'll take it. Okay, Wednesday morning, September 3rd. All right. Go back on shift. Holy crap. A lot more uh, parcels today. Where's our truck? There's our truck. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet fee, followed by the weather. Positive or Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way. Jack. I, I want to listen to this I before I roll out. Yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? That was the quickest weather report of all time. So we have a couple of houses right here that need to be taken care of. Let's go ahead and do that. 207 might be is what we need. So let's deliver the mail here at 207. A lot of package. Well, only actually only maybe three packages. I say packages as you know loosely like boxes and stuff. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it's a small town. Probably. Let's check our map out. So we take a look here. We got one way down south. How big is this map? State of Oregon. It's pretty big. Uh, most Diner. We have a few packages over here. A couple mail parcels and then the one package down there. All right. Great. That's good to know. 
All right, we can definitely do that. However, I think we are going to take a stop in this for right now. I think this is a good spot to, st to stop. We have a lot of parcels and packages ahead of us. I think there will be a part two for this uh, demo look at, let's look at um, kind of little mini series here of the lake. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. Go g put this on your wish list now. If you made it this far in the video, you're probably interested for sure in this game. Add it to your wish list. Download the, the demo for free right now. Go ahead, try it out for yourself. It's a very, very charming game. Very different kind of gameplay that you're used to, at least for now. Looks like the story will be heavily, heavily influenced here. Dialogue options is great to have. Choices to have at the end of your day. Could be something special here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I will see you in part two. Do take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. I'm in your pocket full of